What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the all new fifth generation iPod Touch. Now this is kind of like the iPhone 5 with the heart of an iPhone 4S, but the camera of an iPhone 4. So, what does that mean? We have a four inch retina display, exactly the same one like the iPhone 5. We have an iPhone 4S A4 processor clocked at 800 megahertz, so that's a dual core processor. And we have a five megapixel camera like the iPhone 4, but it has the optics of the iPhone 5. Now the iPod Touch is available in two capacities, 32 gig or 64 gig, so that's $299 or $399. That's a big price jump from the fourth generation iPod Nano, which is still available for $199, but with 16 gigs of storage and more. Uh, so the fifth generation iPod Touch is available in a variety of colors. We have the black and slate version here, but you can get a white version with a number of metal colors. So you can get the silver, you can get the pink, yellow, blue, or product red. So you basically get a white screen with a variety of colors on the back panel, but black comes in black. So you get a black slate with a black screen and that's about all. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look around. So on the side we have iPod Touch, on the back we have our capacity, on the other side we have iPod Touch, and on the top we have the Apple logo which matches the color of the iPod. So let's go ahead and crack this open so we can take a look around. Peel that off. Our clamshell is going to open and reveals the iPod Touch in its tray. So we're going to set this aside for just a minute while we look around the contents. So inside we have designed by Apple in California. We have our literature pack here. Hello. So we have our instructions in here which basically tell us a little bit about the iPod Touch and how to use it, all the ports and features, and we'll demonstrate some of those. And of course we also have our iPod Touch info as well as a set of Apple stickers. Now inside we have our lightning cable, and in the center of that is another new feature called the iPod Loop, which is basically a hand strap. Up here we have our uh, ear pods, which do not feature the microphone and inline remote. So these are basically the cheap versions. You can't actually buy these in the store. These only come with nanos. The version you can buy in the store includes the remote and microphone. I've done a review on those. They cost $29 if you want to upgrade to those. Uh, I really like the headphones, uh, but if you're going to upgrade, you may want to look at something like in-ear headphones like the Klipsch S4Is. Those are one of my favorites. So this is disposable packaging. This is not a carrier case. This is not something you're going to carry your ear pods in. So you can see if we pop that that out. There are our ear pods again with no inline remote or microphone. Now below that we'll find our lightning cable neatly wrapped up. So you can see that very tiny lightning cable which is reversible. You can insert it either way. Doesn't matter. Still works the same. So this is used for charging and syncing. Now what you don't get here is a power adapter for the wall uh, for your socket. So you can charge this of course via a USB port on your computer. So here is our hand strap, the iPod loop. We can take a look at that. So you can see it's kind of like a polyurethane material. You can see if you look on the inside, it says designed by Apple in California, made in China. You can see our connector for tagging it to the uh, iPod Touch, which we'll explore in just a minute. Now onto the iPod Touch, we're just going to lift up the sticker. Of course, the sticker features iOS 6, and that will pop it. That will actually pop it out for us here. There you go. You can flex the tray and it sort of pops out. Now taking a look around the iPod Touch, we have that aluminum unibody with that anodized finish here. So we have that dark slate color, a lot like the iPhone 5. In fact, I think it's pretty much identical in color to the iPhone 5. So you can see we have this polished Apple logo in the center along with the iPod name. Up top we have a little transparent window here, or a radio transparent window. This allows things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to work through the body of this metal chassis. We also have our iSight camera. This is a new 5 megapixel autofocusing camera with stabilization, can record video at 1080p at 30 frames per second and it basically is the iPhone 4 sensor but it has the optics of the iPhone 5 so we get um, the high quality optics with the five lenses and the um, sapphire uh, crystal lens cover to uh, for scratch resistance and uh, ultimate uh, clarity we also have our microphone and LED flash LED flash is also new this time for the iPod touch now in the lower corner we have the attachment for the iPod loop which is basically a button that pops up and you can see it reveals the uh, attachment mechanism for the iPod loop. So let's go ahead and attach that. Basically you have a little hook here, you wrap it around, pull it tight and you're good to go. So basically you have your hand strap with an adjustable uh, lanyard here for uh, tightening it around your wrist. Up here we have our speaker as well as our lightning connector and headphone jack. Now on the other side we have our color matching volume controls, up and down of course, and up top another color matching button for the sleep-wake function. 
Now on the front, we'll find our new and improved FaceTime camera, which is a 1.2 megapixel camera versus the 0.3 VGA camera from the last or from the iPhone or iPod Touch fourth generation and previous FaceTime cameras. So again, this is like the iPhone 5, can record a video at 720p resolution. So it's a much higher quality video for FaceTiming or self-recording. And of course, on the bottom, we have our familiar home button. So let's go ahead and get this started and take a look around. Now, like the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 with iOS 6, the iPod Touch 5th generation also gains panorama mode on its camera. So in addition to having a much better camera with autofocusing, so for example, I can tap the focus here. That's a new feature for the iPod Touch. But you also have panorama mode, which you can enable under options. You can go to panorama, and it works exactly the same. You basically, it basically coaches you. You press the shutter release button, and it will coach you through the process of taking that photo. It will balance the... Um, image quality, the exposure levels, and the focus uh, so the entire picture looks uniform. So it works pretty well. Now we also have tap to focus. You can also tap and hold to lock focus and exposure. This also recognizes faces so it will adjust the scene for optimal levels for photographing the faces in the scene. So it can recognize up to 10 faces I believe is the limit. And of course we also have a flash. So we can turn on the flash, take a photo, fires the flash. We can also set it to auto if we want, or we can click it off. Now, if you're in camera mode, let's go to camera mode here. You can see if we turn on the flash, there you go. Seems to work about the same as the iPhone 5, so it's probably the same flash. Now, the iPod Touch takes photos really quickly, about as quickly as the iPhone 4, it's not as quickly as the iPhone 5, which makes sense because we have the same processor. So we have that A5 dual-core processor clocked at 800 megahertz. We also have half a gig of RAM as opposed to one gig of RAM in the iPhone 5. Now, the iPod Touch 5th generation also supports flyover. So here we're in Chicago. And so just like on the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 4S, we can pinch in and zoom around uh, the 3D representation of the city. So it works the same. You can pinch to zoom. You can change pitch by using your two fingers and scrolling up. And you can twist it around to view the city. Works pretty quickly and pretty smoothly. And, of course, we also have Siri. Show me the ratings for the movie Prometheus. One. Rotten Tomatoes gives Prometheus a 73% rating. Did the Tigers lose last night? Detroit was just beaten by Oakland yesterday. The final score was 4-3. to three. In terms of design differentiation, of course, the fourth generation iPod, just like all the ones before it, has that mirrored back panel, which looks pretty nice, but is very scratchable. So the new fifth generation goes with that anodized finish, which is perhaps a little more durable, but maybe scuffable as, we're, as we know with the iPhone 5. Now, there's a big difference in the hardware as well. So up here, you can see that that camera up here on the fifth generation iPod Touch is much larger. We have that five megapixel autofocusing camera with much bigger optics versus this less than one megapixel camera with no autofocusing as well as a, we have a microphone. Up here we have a microphone plus an LED flash which is new. Now the thing with the iPod Touch 5th generation is the fact that the camera actually sticks out because the body of the iPod Touch is so thin that the camera needs to stick out a little bit in order to fit in there. So some people may not like that. It actually unfortunately has a little side effect here. So if we lay it on the table and you can actually rock it back and forth a little bit. Now at the bottom, this is where things have really changed as well. So you can see things have moved around. So we have the headphone jack on the other side. We have the speaker on the other side. So the speaker is louder and clearer on the iPhone 5. And of course, we have that much smaller lightning connector versus the 30-pin dock connector. Now up top, we still have our sleep wake button, but this time they're all metal. So we have a plastic button here versus a metal button on the new 5th generation iPod Touch, as well as metal buttons for the volume controls. Now the big differentiator here is that 4 inch retina display on the new 5th generation iPod Touch versus the 3.5 inch retina display on the 4th generation iPod Touch. Another big detail here is the fact that this is the identical screen from the iPhone 5, while this is a lower quality screen from the iPhone 4 and 4S. This actually is a non-IPS display, so if you look at it off axis, you can see it kind of loses uh, contrast and color fidelity, while this one holds its color at any angle. Works just like the iPhone 5. And we also have our new high-def FaceTime camera capable of recording video at 720p versus our VGA camera here, which was less than one megapixel, which recorded video in VGA quality only.
Now in terms of thickness, the iPod Touch 5th generation is slightly thinner than the iPod Touch 4th generation. So you get a lot more hardware, a lot more features, a much better screen, and a thinner form factor. Now as to be expected, the iPod Touch is the same size as the iPhone 5. We also have very similar finishes here, so that slate color, that anodized aluminum color is very similar. The design is different. Uh, we have a rounded unibody design on the iPod Touch versus that more angular design on the iPhone. And the iPhone just feels like a higher quality uh, design. Design. There's more details there, uh, especially, for example, you have a plastic window versus the glass windows for uh, RF transparency on the iPhone. Uh, if you look down on the bottom, you can see we have, again, very similar design for the lightning connector and headphone jack, as well as the cutouts for the speaker. And along the side, you can see that they share similar buttons. They even have that sort of polished chamfer edge to it, which gives it a nice detail. Alrighty guys, so that's been a look at the new 5th generation iPod Touch. I'll have more on the iPod Touch in coming videos, so stay tuned. And until then, see you in the next video.